Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is too many items for Minecraft 1.2.5. A lot of people are asking me if it updated, that's why I keep on making videos to clarify that it updated. Anyways, what this mod allows you to do is to select as much items as you like into your single player game or in multiplayer. You can have as much items as you like. You could change your game mode just from a button. Let's go ahead and see what this mod's about. I'm going to go to single player and select any world I like. And of course, I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with uh, too many items. Everybody has installed too many items at least one point in their lives let's go ahead and check this out I'm gonna pull on my inventory and if it's not on you have to press the O key to turn it on and off you can change your game mode by pressing this game mode button you can change time by pressing these time buttons you can change the weather if it's raining and you could press the trash can to delete your items there we go I'm gonna delete everything from there and there we go if you like the way your inventory is you can go ahead and save your inventory with these save slots so let's say I want to save this I'm gonna save it now I'm gonna go ahead and throw away most of all this and now if I press load it's gonna load what I uh, had saved anyways there's a whole list of items in which you can get from too many items not like in creative mode some blocks are missing too many items actually shows the blocks, such as lava flowing lava you don't get that in creative so you could click on that and you're gonna get 64 stacks of it if you want more than 64 stacks all you have to do is hold shift and click on the item and you're gonna get one 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 of it meaning it's literally gonna last forever it's not gonna go down so yeah that's basically the features of too many items in single player let's go ahead and switch off to multiplayer so I'm gonna save and quit go to multiplayer and let's go ahead and join my server the one that I'm still constructing alright so if you're an off you can use too many atoms in your server but apparently I can't really change time I've been trying to see if I could change time on um, too many items apparently I can't so when I press this it's gonna say invalid world but um, anyways since I have a central I can just spell slash time day and it'll just change the time like so but I did set it up where you can give yourself items without getting the error of saying um, sorry you can't enchant that item I always get that with bucket but anyways I'm gonna click on this sword and it's gonna give me one sword if you guys were ops of a bucket server you pretty much know what I mean when it gave you that error that you couldn't give yourself this type of item and it'll say something about enchanting you could fix that very simple but you could change your game mode just by clicking this and see it just changed my game mode you could change the weather by clicking on this on a server so it's gonna start raining and you could change it by clicking just that one button it's very simple but apparently I can't change the time yet maybe that's a different thing I have to config I'm not quite too sure if I do find out, I'm going to put it in the description. So yeah, in the tutorial part, I will show you on how to set it up for Essentials Bucket. It's very simple. All you have to do is just change the commands a bit. This mod is really awesome, and I recommend everybody to install it. I'm pretty sure everyone already has it installed. But let's go ahead and see on how to install this awesome mod. It's really easy. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is literally the easiest mod to install out of all the mods out there. But the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing too many items is go here to Options and Force Update Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Update Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up. You can never be too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get a black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft.jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating. But you're going to go ahead and go into my description, it's going to take you to my website, and you're just going to get the Too Many Items download. You could install the mod loader with it, or you can install any mods you like, because Too Many Items works with a lot of mods out there. Just make sure to install Too Many Items last before installing any huge mods. So here's Too Many Items, you're going to get it from my description, and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And let's go ahead and install this mod. I'm going to go here to start, search your program file, I'm going to type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users you should see her run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top you're going to go into your dot minecraft folder you're going to see bin resources save everything else go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar in which we're going to mod you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed here's my minecraft game that i just forced updated you have to exit off your game before installing any mods so exit off your minecraft game now you're going to right click your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, open with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener if you don't have WinRAR links in the description. So open up your minecraft.jar with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do of course before installing any mods is to delete metainf. You have to delete metainf. So right click metainf and delete files. Say yes and delete metainf. Now metainf has gone now we can continue. Open up too many items, double click move it aside all you simply have to do is just highlight all these files and simply drag it all into the minecraft.jar side wait a little bit and replace press ok and that's it that's basically on how to install the mod it's super easy it's one of the easiest mods to install all you have to do is just highlight the files and drag it over so let's go ahead and log in and see if it worked I'm going to go to uh, my multiplayer server and uh, you're gonna get the error watch I'm gonna show you the error just right now you're gonna see the error 
um, when I pull out too many items by pressing O to turn it on, I'm going to try giving myself an item. And you're going to see it says that that specific enchantment cannot be applied to the item. That's an error that you get from bucket essentials. If you guys have essentials or any bucket, um, that's the error that you're going to get. Let's go ahead and disconnect and exit off your Minecraft game. Let's go ahead and fix this. We're going to locate our .minecraft folder. Remember how to do that? It's percent app data percent, And there we go. So percent app data percent, and go back to your roaming folder and go back to your .minecraft folder with bin resources save or anything else. You should have a new text document called too many items. Double click that text document. You're going to see right here the give command. You have to change your give command. Okay, so if you look at the too many items forums, it's going to say bucket essential command. Here's the bucket essential. I'm going to have it in my description. All you have to do is just highlight this and copy it. So highlight that, right click, copy, go to your uh, too many items little notepad thing. And you're going to see give command right there. Highlight that and press control V to paste it. And there you go. So now it's going to say slash item. And now it's going to give you that item. So now let's go to file, save. And now we can go ahead and exit this off. And you can go ahead and exit off anything else you like. And let's log into the game and see if it worked. I'm going to go to multiplayer. I'm going to go to my server again. And now I'm going to try to give myself an item. And there we go. So now it did work. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna try finding out how to change the weather. That's basically on how to give yourself items for a bucket server. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for supporting me. Um, you guys are really awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey man, it's your buddy Pork Chop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there, the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SEM Owns. They're both nice people. They like me, they call me Pork Chop, and they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes, look what I could do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two. It doesn't matter which one, maybe both, you know? Maybe you're that cool. Come on, man.